with his glasses. Duh. Anyway, just forgot one last thing, uh, trivia that we needed to do. We need to go and talk about uh, Maggie. We haven't spoken about her at all. Um, now, her Japanese name is Mako Suzuki, and her French name is Magai Loiseau. Um, the Japanese name comes from the phrase Mate Make Suzuki, which means continues to lose. Um, English name comes from magpie, and it's Maggie, bird, bird, um, and the, and the magpies are said to bring bad luck. Um, and Maggie was also likely chosen because it's because of its unusual spelling. So that could cause an interesting case. And um, also, the French name Loiseau could be dis well, is most likely 100% derived from Loiseau, which means bird. Um, now, numerous red feathers on um, the police uniform and some other outfits that she wears and other things, which are meant to express Bird's altruistic personality, and that they are indicative of her regular contributions to charity. The community chest of Japan is known as literally Red Feather Community Chest. Um, feathers may also have partially inspired her English and French names. Exaggerated gestures are, were designed to express them in nature, and she also appears in Ace Attorney Investigations, Miles Edgeworth. Um, although her standard sprites are like those of other characters, in the left and in the, the left and right facing sprites are split versions of each other. Her full body sprites are different, regardless of whether she is facing left or right hat. Remains in her left hat. And um, also, in Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, uh, right. Phoenix Wright has a number of alternative costumes he can wear, the colour schemes of which all reference other characters. Uh, Maya Faye appears in some, of, in some of Wright's attacks, and her costume also changes depending on the one Wright is wearing. One of uh, the choices is based on the colour scheme of Larry Butts' original outfit, while Mayo's corresponding colour scheme is based on the waitress outfit that she and Maggie wear while working at Trebia in uh, Trials and Tribulations, which you will see. So that's covered. Good old Maggie. So, <coughs> let's get back into the case. Uh, cell phone, duh. This is perfect because uh, we've uh, come right round to the thing that I pointed out right at the start as soon as I saw that picture. Complete genius here, obviously. <laughs> To be very honest, it's not a difficult case to figure out. I do indeed. Quite right. Wellington. Well, still. You're looking pretty rassy now that we're throwing the suspicion onto you, so... Yes, it is very simple indeed. Names list. Duh. Uh. 
Mm-hmm. Of course, why would we not? We wanted to find the murderer, so that's what we did. Makes me wish for Wendy to come back. I miss you, old bag. I prefer your random ramblings. The witness is a member of that group, clearly. And there is the motive. You know, you're really not doing too well, dude, with your blue suit and your black hair with your little yellow streak. Trying to get the phoenix right look, I'm just failing miserably. Pain, this isn't going to end well for you. Let's just leave this. Oh, whatever. Let's listen to this. True. But there's a certain specific stuff that uh, works out. Because she was going to return the phone. Exactly. would have been the victim, Dustin Prince. Exactly what I'm saying. She's a very sad reason to die, I have to say. Quite to know who you're talking to, Wellington, here. <clears throat> I do go to a first class university, so logic is mine. Well, really? Because I seem to recall you kind of bludgeoned me over the head. So, I think I know whose phone you've got in your hand right now, Mr. Wellington. Yeah, we'll check fingerprints on the phone.
but... Ugh. Nick. Seriously? Still? Hmm, I'd like to know this too. I know! That get clobbered us over the edge. Get off completely scot free. I think he has the wrong phone. A certain uh, Mr. Phoenix Wright has that same phone. Who, who, who am I? I I'm, I'm 24601, clearly. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold it, matey. We're raising an objection right now. We're not letting this go just yet. Yes, but that's fine. I I'm just going to uh, prove the point. Stand by me. I understand, Your Honor. Stop it. Mr. Payne. My, but Phoenix's business card. Plain and simple. Okay, um... That is... The back of the card. Indeed we are. Oh, it's good to hear that theme song again. Hmm. How peculiar.
Mhm. Whoa, dude. Chill, chill. Um, looks like he had a little s person silhouette in his throat. It's like a keyhole. Wait, where's your keyblade when you need one? Maybe we could have shut his mouth up for good. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Of course. Booyah! Well, that went, uh, that went well, all things considered. A lot better than it could have done. We could have been absolutely screwed. <laughs> See you, Maggie. <laughs> oh, what, Nick? What are you doing? Well, it's only because we force him to. Ah. Probably Phoenix. I, I don't remember this person either. He just doesn't seem to be. Mm. Anyway. So, we've got to start all over again, but no problem, we'll get right on and find out about this story two months ago in the next episode. So, that's the end of The Lost Turnabout, 
And next time we move on to Reunion and Turnabout. Woohoo!